my channel. Um, today I'm going to do the four or more makeup tag. Um, I actually was not tagged in this video, but um, I am subscribed to a Miss Lisa Stevens and she did this video. Um, so if you are interested in her original video, I will link her down below. Um, it's a great video. It's basically um, four or more items from specific brands and specific categories like eyeshadow palettes, um, blushes, bronzers, yada, yada, yada. You get the point. Um, so I really don't have a lot, but it'll. I just thought it would be kind of fun to see what I kind of lean towards um, brand-wise. Um, and yeah, so I want to tag at Lisa Lee Garza and at Mommy Wears War Paint to do this video as well. I think y'all would have a great videos um, and I can't wait to see this and let's get started. So I'm going to start out with some single um, eyeshadows. I have, oh hold on, I got stuff in my way over here. So over here I've got in my Z palette I've got six, yeah, six ColourPop shadows. Um, I guess I can go through them all. So I've got Secrets here. This is a pretty pink. I have On the Fence. This is like a shimmer pink, light shimmer pink. It's on top here. I have Soft Core. The third one down that's really pretty pink and then I have um, fair play and that's the fourth one down I also have paper tiger I got this one um, in my ipsy and this is a great transition shade put that on the side right there it's this one right here and then my last one that I have is come and get it I bought this specific shade um, as a dupe for my favorite shade in the Carly Bible palette, which is that like the second edition Carly Bible. It's the one at the top, and it's like an orange pink shift duochrome color. It's so pretty. I call it sunset because it doesn't have a, num uh, a name, but it's so pretty. So there's that one. This is pretty close to it. It's not a complete dupe, but it's it's close enough that it'll work. So that's come and get it. So I have six single um, ColourPop shadows, uh, pressed powder formula. When it comes to their Super Shock shadows, I have four, exactly. So I have, um, this is Wild Thoughts. And this is a purple. Oh, it's got sparkles in it. I think it's coming off on the screen. And we've got... Oh, what is this shade? This is Come Clean, and this is Gold Shimmer. It's really pretty. My hubby actually got these for me for Christmas. Um, and then I have Fade In. This is a matte brown shade. It's really pretty. All these shades actually look really good together. Then I have DGAF. This is a, a shimmer metallic um, brown. I can't see what I'm doing. So there's that. Um, and then when it comes to eyeshadow palettes. I seem to be pretty keen on Too Faced because I have exactly four Too Faced eyeshadow palettes. Um, so I have the Too Faced uh, Totally Cute palette. And I got this, oh geez, I've only had it for like maybe six months. And then the Cat Eyes palette, I got this a few months ago at Nordstrom Rack. I'm not going to swatch all these because that would just take forever and a day and we ain't got time for that. So, And then I have these Sweet Peach palettes. Hubby got this one for me. It smells like peaches and I freaking love it. And then I also have the Too Faced Chocolate Gold, which just came out. Oh, it smells like cocoa and it's so good. It supposedly has real diamonds in it. 
and real gold, I think. Or no, no, this has real gold and cocoa, and I think the highlighter has diamonds in it. So pretty, I love this palette. So, moving on to, um, let's do highlighters, I guess. So, I am keen on Wet n Wild because they're affordable and their highlighters make you glow to the gods. So, um, <laughs> I have four exactly Wet n Wild highlighters. Um, I have their Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in the shade Botanic Dream. And I've got Precious Petals. Precious Petals is probably like my top favorite highlighter for my skin tone. Um, the Botanic Dream is really pretty too, but it's like a pink, so it's not like something I can wear every day. Um, and then I've got the Wet n Wild Boozy Brunch. This was from the Fergie collection, but I think they repackaged it. Now it's just like a, a consonant there. It just doesn't have Fergie's um, name to it. So that's this one. This one's really pretty too. It's a little bit deeper than the Precious Petals, but it's a really pretty highlighter. I love this highlighter. And then I have this palette. That This is on my... 18 and 2018 hit the damn pan because I really don't like it. The only shade in this palette that I like is this gold one and it's such a pain in the ass. Sorry, this gold one. And it's such a pain in the ass to get to because it's a small area and then your brush ends up hitting the pink. So I'm hoping I can hit pan on this one. But anywho, so I've got those four Wet n Wild highlighters. Um, and then for primers, okay, so I don't know if this really counts because I have two of the same primers, but I'm gonna count it anyway because it's my video and I can do what I want, so. Um, so I have two of the NYX glitter primers. I freaking love this glitter primer. It's amazeballs. Um, I'm actually using it today for the glitter that I put on my eye from, I think it's Ulta Beauty. Um, and then I also have the Born to Glow Illuminating Primer from NYX. This is a pretty good primer too, but I've got oily skin, so I barely reach for it because of that. Um, and then I've got the NYX Angel Veil. This one is probably my holy grail when it comes to the NYX primers, my favorite. Um, it does help decrease my pores. It's a good primer. So I, do, I do recommend this one. This one's a good one. And for blushes, I don't know if this counts either, but I'm going to make it count too. So um, I have a single, this is a sample size of the Tarte um, Amazonian Clay in the shade Concept. I, hands down, Tarte is the best when it comes to blushes. It lasts all day on the face. I never have to reapply it. It blends so well. They're not so overly pigmented like Too Faced. Too Faced is way too pigmented. I always screw up when I, when I use um, their blushes, but this is buildable and it builds well. It doesn't build patchy. So I love Tarte's blushes. There's that one. And then I have this eyeshadow palette that has a Tarte blush in it. So that's why I'm like, I don't know if this really counts, but I'm gonna make it count because Tarte's my favorite. Um, and I don't know the shade in this because I lost the little thing, but this is the Amazonian um, Clay Miracles of the Amazon. And then I don't remember the shade of this one. I lost the little paper. Um, but it's pretty too. I'm actually wearing it on my cheeks right now. And then this one I got from the Hubby for Christmas. This is their holiday collection quad. Um, this has the shades lovable, graceful, breathtaking, and genuine in here. And they're also pretty. There is one that has, I think it's, where's my finger going? I think it's the shade right here. It's got a little bit of some shimmer to it. I haven't worn it on the face yet, so I don't know if it's um, like a noticeable sheen, but any hoot. That, I love that. I'm excited about this palette. So yeah, I'm kind of a tart whore when it comes to blushes. Um, and then last but not least, I have my lippies. And I, FYI, I am not a distributor. I just really like, I used to be, I used to sell it since, but I don't sell it anymore. So I have a lot of it. But um, I do, I have um, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I have, no, seven. Um, seven lip scents, like lipsticks. Liquid lipsticks. I've got the shades Kiss for Cause, Sassy Z, Strawberry Shortcake, Fly Girl, Aussie Rose, Praline Rose, and the Ice Cool, which is just the clear one. So I have all these shades. My favorites of these are Praline Rose and um, Sassy Z. I'm almost out of these two. And then for a red, I really like Strawberry Shortcake because it's like a pink undertone. Um, and then Kiss for Cars is a bright party pink. I, I barely ever wear this, but it's nice. Um, if you're interested in lips, since those are the ones I would suggest, but. 
any oops and then i also have their glosses i've got five of their glosses so i've got their regular glossy their um opal gloss which is my favorite it's amazing makes me feel like a unicorn every time i wear it and um, the bougainvillea gloss uh, the pearl gloss and the matte gloss uh, and so that is it I know that's not like a lot of stuff but that's things that I have four or more of in my collection from a specific brand in a specific item um, I hope you all enjoyed this video I hope it wasn't too short I guess for your liking but anyways give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and keep a lookout for my giveaway it's coming soon y'all have a great day bye